Hey guys, Faisal here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus to uh, actually weigh objects using uh, 3D Touch uh, by placing them on your screen. Uh, and just as a quick background, um, uh, this app was created by a few developers uh, when the phones came out, but was never accepted to the iOS App Store because Apple uh, does not actually want you to use your phone to weigh objects. Um, somewhat understandable, they probably don't want you throwing stuff on the screen and uh, ruining your phone that way, but um, you know, when there's a will, there's a way, and uh, we have another developer who came up with a game, and let me show you the game. It's called Steady Square, and what the game does is it's sort of like a Floppy Birds. Um, so let me just go to easy, and what it does is it uses uh, 3D Touch to actually move the square up and down. So the more you press, the higher it goes, uh, the less, the lower it goes. Um, so using that concept, what you can do is go to training mode, and this will just let you kind of mess around and see you know how much uh, you press and where the square goes according to that. But let's say you have something like a spoon. You put the spoon on here. Now it registers as 59, which you can see up top. And I have a nickel, uh, and a nickel is supposed to weigh about five grams. So when I put that on, you can see it changes from uh, to 75. So let's do that again. Put the spoon on, and it's been working kind of inconsistently for me. You know, depending on where I place the spoon, I get different values. Sometimes I get no value at all. But um, so right now it says 56. I put the nickel on, and it goes to 72. Um, now, or 75. So we're going to take the difference uh, on that. So 50, uh, 75 uh, minus 56 is 19. And uh, I have the math laid out in the article, so you can check it out there. But basically, we're going to take the difference, we're going to divide it by 1,000, um, and then we're going to multiply that number by 385, which is the max amount uh, that the uh, the 3D Touch can measure. And you get 7.3, so it's not quite 5, but it's somewhere around there. Um, and again, you know, the accuracy here, uh, we're not really sure of, so you're not going to want to use this to, uh, if you need any exact measurements. You know, if you're sharing things like herbs and spices with, uh, with buddies uh, and you need a very exact amount, this probably isn't going to be the way to do that, but uh, it is a cool concept. So that's the first way. The second way uh, actually doesn't require any of the math. So what you'll need to do is go into Safari, and uh, I have a website uh, laid out, or I have the URL for it in the full article, but it's right here. Um, and once you have the website, if you want to access it easier, just hit your share sheet and choose the Add to Home Screen option, which I've already done. So I have it right here, and you pop it open. And uh, this is now already ready to go. So. Um, you just, you know, you can test it here, and you're going to want to do the same thing with the spoon. You're going to you're want to put it down on the device, let it register, and it's, if you can't tell, it's uh, showing 23 grams on the spoon, and you want to take the difference, so 23, 30, and it's about, uh, so this is saying 7, which is close to what it was before, so uh, again, you know, you probably want to, if you're going to do this for any sort of accuracy purposes, maybe use a real uh, scale, or make sure it's calibrated with something that you know the exact weight of, but, um, you know, it kind of, it's a cool proof of concept, and it, it does work to an extent, so uh, check it out, I have links to everything you need, uh, if you want to uh, get the game, it's available right now in the iOS App Store, I would grab that as soon as possible, you never know what Apple's going to do with it, um, but uh, there you go, two methods of getting uh, the weight of objects in grams uh, using your iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, make sure to check out the article for all the details uh, and links to everything, uh, if you like this video, make sure to actually like it down below, comment uh, with any questions or uh, anything else, um, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. And um, that's it, guys. See you next time.